This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to issue 91 of building kit from Knight Rider. Uh, this issue, we're going to be putting the uh, one of the rear wings in place. Not an actual wing, you know, car wing. Uh, Burial Ground is the uh, episode 5 from season 4. Closing in on the last few episodes, but uh, all the stuff that happens in there for your perusal, if you so desire. I haven't as yet been back and watched any more, but I will. I will. I will get back to it, honest, soon. Sometime. Uh, this is what we're going to be doing, putting in the, uh, the final bit of the roof finish, then doing some more detail on the wing before putting the wing in place. Uh, so what I'm going to do is do the wing bit first and then when I've got the whole body shell in we'll put the roof panel on, get back to that and then put the wing in place as well. So uh, a little bit of dotting around from the instructions but I'm sure you'll be able to keep up with it and see what's going on. Uh, the secret Biles footprint pattern scanner. Cool. You can follow people. So let's clear this out of the way and let's get the build under the way. So oh, today's parts and the wing from before that we're going to be installing the fuel cover to. This is the bit that we're going to be fitting afterwards. Let's move that out of the way. Uh, for now, we are going to start off uh, fitting the hinge piece to the body with an AM screw. One of them. Single one of those. Put that aside for later about a smaller screwdriver screw on the screwdriver and this is going to go on there let's double check which way round it needs to go yep this goes through the smaller bit with the hinge on the outside so like that and like that and there be there Right, it's got to be that way around. Slightly different to how it seems to be pictured, but that fits in there much better. So I'm going to go for it that way around. Turn it around so I can hold it better as well. So that in there. With a screw. To hold the hinge in place. that up here we go so we've got the hinge fuel cover piece uh, then we need to do something with it what do we need to do with it oh we just need to fit the bit to it uh, it's got to fit from the outside because that's the way it needs the hinge open gonna go hey what no it's gotta go I don't understand this. Give me a sec. Let's figure this out. Let's got to go on the inside. It can't go on the inside. That's not how it's going to work. Am I being an idiot and putting the wrong bit on? I think I'm putting the wrong bit on. I am. It is this bit and it does go on the outside. That needs to attach like that. There we go. And that needs to be an AP screw because the bit on the outside is plastic. A single AP screw required. Get one out and we'll leave one in the packet, or we'll get both out and then we'll drop one back into the packet. Or thereabouts. I'll put it, put it aside. We'll worry about that later. Get on, we're getting this assembled. So that's going to go through there and into there. Quite a bit like that, so that will hinge open. This with it not hinging open. 
It does. It just doesn't feel like it does, but it does. Might need to adjust that a little bit, but something's not quite right with that. I can return to that and see exactly why I'm having trouble with that. Uh, but we'll, first of all, we'll get a bit more done. Shall we look at the BP screw? Let's move that over there. Lots of single individual different screws to use on this one for some reason. The BP screw will be holding this in place. Apparently, unfortunately, because it's all black against black, it's difficult to uh, see and make out exactly what's going on with that in the best of the best of days. And today's not the best of days. So that's going to go through there. Like that, with a screw holding that in. That's the little uh, interior fuel cap piece there. And then that's going to fit over there, like that. So when you do open that, once I've adjusted it and made it open, like that do. Sure what I'm doing wrong with that, but I shall get to that. When that's on there, that's going to go on the inside. So if you do open that, all you'll see on the inside is the internals. Uh, so let me figure out what's wrong with that and get that attached and then come back and show you attaching this and this to the main chassis. Right, yes, the uh, gas cap now works lovely. Uh, I had the hinge piece flipped. So the, the shaping of it just wasn't right. So I put the back bit on there and that now works indeed as it should. And you can see inside there, should you ever want to open it, you're probably not going to. Well, I'm probably not going to, but there we go. So I'll put that to one side momentarily while we bring in the main contender, the main event. Uh, this is the panel that we're going to be fitting now, covering over the little brackets that hold the, uh, the back open. Oh, I forgot that open. It was very cool. So that's going to go on there. We've got three uh, WM screws to hold that in place. Obviously three positions, one either end and one back in the middle. So that's going to go on there just like that. Uh, then I've got to figure out how to get to it and do it without it going everywhere and falling off. And yeah, I sort of want to do it upside down, but I think that's going to come apart if I do it upside down. So let's let's try it and see. Doors still trying to open on their own. And the roof panels now as well. So yeah, that's going to go a bit like that, and everything's going to open. But I should be able to get that started on there. Feel like that's going in somewhere. Not too sure that it does. Yeah, that's not lining up somewhere on the line. I've obviously slipped it one way or the other. And other things opening and closing and moving. Right, get that shut. That's got to be there. I can't feel it. Now with those window, top windows opening as well. Thought I had it, but then I didn't. Nope, can't feel it. I shall play around with this, get it in the right place, and then show you how the wing fits on. Right, that's that panel in there nice. These windows don't quite work yet because there's another bracket that needs to go in the inside to hold that together. They, they open, but they sort of wobble about a bit. You've got to be careful closing them, but that's all good. Uh, that panel, I've just popped it in place on there. Uh, we obviously hadn't done it yet. I thought we'd have been doing that before we attach it, but apparently not. Um, so that is going to be held in place again with multiple screws of different types. So I'll do that off camera and show you how it fits. Oh, well, it's going to fit just like that, so I, I won't bother showing you. The door, 
uh, has now got the pin on that inside panel to latch onto. So that should clip on there. And that holds the door nicely shut, although it can still be opened. I'm not sure how you're going to go about opening that from the outside once it's all done, because that is quite a tight clip. clip. Uh, but we worry about that down the line. It go, goes nice and smooth. I doubt very much that we're wanting to open the doors. But there we go. That's that. Uh, I shall get the screws in, and I, I will show you afterwards to make sure it all goes well. And there we have it, all fitted and installed and looking good, even if I do say so myself. The door has a satisfying click. Shut. Um, I'm still not sure about the opening bit. I would have to reach in through the window, I think, to open it. Because it's quite tight, and that handle's not really got any grip on it. So, uh, not sure about that, but I'm probably going to leave the windows open so you can see the inside bit better anyway. But I'm happy with that. It's working. I'm convinced that that's going to be fine and the door fill up with petrol when you need to as well back it opens good i'm happy it's working it's coming together uh there's a bit more to be done uh, a bit more work on the inside of these panels and obviously then we've got the other side bits but it's almost there i can feel the end is in sight so thank you very much for watching i hope you're enjoying the build as much as i'm enjoying building it i can see you for more very very soon thanks for watching bye bye for now Thank <laughs> you.